Welcome to the Anti Noise Experience podcast of endurance noise and random musings. It is Monday, um, September or something, 7th, I believe. Yes, uh, the uh, race for the ages has finished. Um, thought I would give you guys an update on the final standings. It's a one mile loop in Manchester, Tennessee. I went there a couple years ago, I think 2018, and it's an interesting race. I definitely want to go back despite the uh, incredibly hot weather. Uh, humidity and all that uh, they still had the race with COVID going on looks like there was a much smaller um, field um, Gregory Trapp won it he was 57 years old my age he did 211 miles then we had Brad Compton who I talked about before a friend of mine who I've done many races with 66 he did 201 and David Korfman also got the 201 so we had a couple three guys over 200 miles really impressive first woman was Rosemary Evans at 66. She did 163 miles. Lisa Rome was 157. And Julie Allstars, who I've done many races with, was at 151. So pretty cool to see those results. It looks like if you scroll down here, there was just 62 people in the race um, in the past years. I think there was a couple hundred. I know when I went, I did 110 or 111 miles. And there was definitely quite a few more people. I remember, I think I... By not stopping at 100, I moved up like 25 places. Speaking of 100 miles, they have 100-mile splits. Mike Melton, I always love his timing system. It's live always. He'll be timing the race. I'm doing a 100-mile race in two weeks here in California, the Ride to Walk, which you can still enter, and it's uh, going to actually happen. Um, it's at a horse ranch, and the money goes towards the charity there. Um, Gregory Trapp and David Korfman, Gregory, who won the race, they had the fastest 100 times of 2242 and 22.42.03. So it looks like they did most of the race together. Um, Brett Compton, who came in second overall, was 25.49.42 for 66-year-old. Lisa Rome had the fastest women's 100 split of 29.51. Julie Astars was 33.41. And Francesca Mussini was 33.46. I believe she won the Vol State just a few weeks ago. Um, if you scroll down, quite impressive is the older gentleman. Um, we had a 78-year-old Maurice do a 48-hour and five-minute 100-mile uh, race. Guy up here, Eric Kajara, 73, uh, from Ridgecrest. He was 42, 40, 24. And then what's really impressive is Donald Jans, 88 years old, from Florida, went 68, 35. He covered 100 miles in less than three days. Kenneth Burns, who was 84, was 73.07.26. And Doyle Carpenter, um, 81, was 75.22. In fact, Doyle Carpenter just broke the 48-hour record um, impressively a few weeks ago. I believe that was him. He did like 145 miles in 48 hours. So some really good times. It's a great race. I would say try and definitely go do it, but it sells out pretty fast and I think I want to try and do it sometime in the future. So as always, stay healthy, be boring, not epic.